Last, but not least, is iTunes in the cloud. You know, it's the same old story, right? About I buy something on my iPhone, right? Well, f and, and it's not on my other devices. I grab my iPod and I go to listen to that song I bought yesterday on my iPhone, it ain't there. Well, the first thing we've done, again, is for the songs you've already bought, we've added a purchase button that shows you your entire purchase history of all the iTunes songs you bought on any device. You can look at it by all songs or recent songs, or you can look at it by artist. So I'm going to pick Bob Dylan here, and I could download any of these albums that I've bought on iTunes to this device just by pushing that cloud download button. Or I could go in to one of them and just download whatever songs I want to this device. So anything I've bought, I can now download to any of my devices at no additional charge, which is great. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen this in the music industry. No charge for multiple downloads to different devices. And for the future, I flick one switch to on, and now any song I buy on any device, again, will automatically be downloaded to all my devices. So when I want to buy a song, in this case an Adele song, it will push it to all of my devices. So to give us a demo of that, again, I'd like to invite Eddie up. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. So I'm on my iPhone, and I want to listen to a song I'd previously purchased on iTunes, but it's not in the music library on this device. Well, now I can easily just go to the iTunes Music Store. There's a new Purchase tab right on the bottom. And now I'm seeing all of the purchases I've ever done on iTunes. I can even look at them, the, the songs that, I had, that are not on this device that I previously purchased by just tapping that button. Now I'm going to look for a Foo Fighters song. I think it's called Walk. And there it is. And what, just tapping the iCloud button, it downloads to my iPhone. Again, because I'd previously purchased this song, it's downloading at no additional cost. Let's go ahead and play it. Just finishing downloading. Now that's great, but iTunes in the cloud is even better. Let's see what happens when I purchase a new song. And if we can bring up my iPad, I'm going to go ahead and launch our new music player in iOS 5. And on my iPhone, I'm going to go back to the iTunes store. I want to buy a new song. And I want to look at uh, Bruno Mars' new album. I know he has a hit song. I think it's called uh, Lazy, Lazy Song. That's it. We can preview it. That's definitely it. And I'm going to buy it. But before I do, notice on my iPad, I don't have any Bruno Mars songs at all. So we're going to go ahead and buy. And it's now downloading to my iPhone. And in addition, there's the Bruno Mars song. And of course, let's play it. So now when I buy a song on one of my devices, it automatically downloads to all of my devices without having to sync or do any work at all. And that's iTunes in the cloud. Thanks. Thank you very much. Isn't this awesome? So music purchased from iTunes, 
high quality, 256 kilobits AAC, and you can have up to 10 devices downloading your music to all of them every time you buy it on any device. iTunes in the cloud.